Hey guys, what's going on? It's Quad here, and today I have another Lawbreakers video for you guys. Before I jump into this real quick, I just want to let you guys know that to start the video off, I had a little stash drop opening, but this is actually my second attempt at recording this video, and that is because for the first attempt, I didn't even realize that I had my mic muted the entire time. So I have the live reaction on face cam, and I have the like actual recording of the gameplay, but I don't have my mic, so I don't feel like using the face cam without the mic. I bet you guys understand that. So I'll have the stash drop opening play at the beginning right here, and I'll just have some music behind it. Real quick before I cut to the stash drop opening, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's going on with that. So if you go over here and you go on a character, you can see that there is five categories for a stash drop item. You can get base, which is the lowest, then it goes advanced, second tier, superior, third tier, exotic, fourth tier, and then the highest tier you can get is for boss. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything about this, but I do have some pretty good drop pulls, so you guys better just go ahead and watch through all of that if that interests you at all. If you want to see gameplay, then you guys can just jump ahead to the end. It's all up to you guys, but anyways, now that I mentioned that part, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the stash drop opening now. Okay, and we are back now. You guys can see that I got a boss weapon skin for the battle medic. Now, I've mentioned in the past that I am thinking about possibly doing a series where I just go over every single character in this game, go over their weapons, go over their abilities, stuff of that nature. And I have not been using battle medic any, but I uh, will definitely be using that weapon skin and all the other skins that I pull for other characters whenever I do that series on that certain character. But right now, I have usually just main Gunslinger, so that's what I'm just going to go ahead and stick with. Um, I already have all my stuff selected with Gunslinger, but I'll just go ahead and show you what I have here real quick. 
I have the Bleed Purple Pack, which if you guys do not know what that is, it is a Twitch Prime loot that you can get. And I have a complete like breakdown video of how to do that, so you guys can definitely just go check that out on my channel. It's three or four videos prior to this one if you guys want to go see that. And then I can go ahead and show you the Breakers character, Faust. And actually, did I change everything with Faust? I, I think I might have. I'll just go ahead real quick and show you guys here. You can uh, you can put stickers on your weapons along with just the camos and stuff in that nature. So I'll just look for one of the cooler higher tier stickers that I can use and just throw that on there. So I'll go ahead and throw a holographic cap on here. And is there anything else? I think it's that one. Just that. And I believe that I also pulled this skin from that opening earlier also. So anyways, now that all of that's out of the way, I'll just go ahead and jump into some gameplay for you guys now. <sighs> so this is actually looking exactly like my last one. Actually, this one's even worse because we literally just lost right as I got in that game. I really hope it doesn't hurt my stats or anything like that. I'll definitely be getting a D score here since I had zero points scored for my team. But for the original recording, it was the exact same way. I jumped into a battery game. I believe it's called Battery. Battery is the thing that you take around and you take it back to your base. I explained it briefly in my last video. If you guys want to see little explanations of all the different game modes, I'll be explaining the ones as I'm playing it in this video. But if you guys want to see the breakdown of all of them, you guys can go ahead and check that out. But anyways, that one was basically over too. Yeah, I really hope that doesn't hurt my like scores because if you look over here for scores, your account progression shows stuff like your average score grade. And I'm pretty sure that it's actually showing the uh, D grade because I think the only two D grades that I've gotten in the entire game were these two that I did recording for this video. The one that I did that you guys just saw and then the one for the first part that I was mentioning earlier. And that is actually really upsetting because if you're joining Game in Progress, you can't help how your score is, especially when the score is literally like your grade is based off of your score. If you get them like above 9,000 points, I believe, that gives you an S plus. And then it's just stuff like that. It keeps on carrying up and up. So that's how the score works. But anyways, just like the last recording, as you guys obviously don't know about that, I when finished that game out and then I played one more game and then I cut it off so that's probably what I'm going to be doing here. We have a full game coming up, knock on wood that it doesn't end up being cut short in any way, but right now we are here for the start of the game in the very least is what I mean by that. Okay so this game mode is uplink, what you have to do is you go and grab this headlight, you bring it back to your base I believe, it'll either be your base or the other base and then you just let it sit there you defend it and then once you capture it you get points I'm not exactly sure with this game mode how many points you have to go to to win but well, I know in battery which is really similar you only need to get three points to be able to win so one thing I definitely recommend to you guys that are new to the game is explore the map because this area I played this map like a good four or five times and that one little like alley away there I had never even noticed it before so that Kind of just sounds like a basic thing, but I mean, some of the maps here, they have like little nooks and crannies with like paths that you can make across the map that are pretty efficient, so you definitely want to go and check those out if you have not looked into all of the possibilities already. Teammate, put it in! Teammate, what are you doing? This guy probably doesn't even realize that he has it. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Your uplink connected. Okay, he actually ended up putting it in there. That actually like made me really nervous because I don't know, maybe he wanted to try to clear them out before he like you know take me back. I don't really get his logic there though, because all you have to do is just have the percentage go up to 100 and then count down the timer. So you want to have it on there as long as possible. I do not understand my teammate's logic there at all. Your 
All right, so we're able to tie the score up 1-1 there. The only downside with this is that they still do have their uplink up to 100%. With battery, I'm not sure if the difference is that there's just resets over time. The team definitely needs to get our act together here if we want to win this game, though. I mentioned this some briefly in my uh, other recording, but obviously you guys didn't see that. But one real problem with this game is that you can't really help this, but you're really screwed unless you're playing with a party of people. Because you guys can see that there is someone who has the exact same score as me pretty much. And yet he's 11 and 3, and that's because he's just kill warding the entire time, not worrying about the objective. Where unlike some games that are like a lot more lenient on whether like it matters to play the objective a lot, this is not one of those games you have to play the objective if you want to have any chance of doing good on this game. So that's definitely one thing that I find really annoying because we're about to get 3-1 here. It's really looking like this teammate doesn't even know how to get up to chat booster. So it's just a game where, like, if you're a solo player, you can't really thrive that much. I have had pretty much most of my, like, really good gameplays have been solo. But there's not really that much that I can do about it. All it just depends on is whether I'm able to get lucky with a good team that I can match up with, or... I get unlucky and I get a bad team that I mash up with. So hopefully they like are able to fix the matchmaking some, or maybe I've just gotten a lot better at the game and my scores are really good and that's why I'm getting worse team now. I don't really know what it is, but let me know how your experiences are if you are playing Lawbreakers at all. How your experiences are with the matchmaking system, if you find the matchmaking system to be pretty bad or if you think that it's fine and maybe I'm just having issues myself. I'd like to hear your guys feedback with all of that and that's the game there. Definitely not how I want this video to be because in the other recording, I mean I do have a recorder but I don't really feel like showing it to you guys. I did have a nice little uh, MVP gameplay. It was like 9 and 4. It was in the domination like game mode called Turf War and we won like 16 to 3 I think it was. Something like that. We won by a large margin, so obviously this gameplay was not up to par with that, but I can't really help that much. You win some, you lose some, especially when you're just playing solo. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And if you guys want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'm really just trying to stay on the YouTube grind. I keep on saying it, but that's really what I'm trying to do. I just want to stay motivated for this. And if you guys support me more and more, share it with all your friends and stuff like that. It makes me want to make more videos like this. And if you guys want to see my videos as soon as they go up, make sure you turn on notifications. If you guys want to see my live streams whenever they go up, there are notifications for my Twitch. You can go ahead and follow me and turn those on, or you can just go ahead and follow me if you don't want to have the notification every single time. I don't blame you for that. And if you guys want to see whenever both my videos and streams go up and you don't want to necessarily sub to me or follow me on one of those, you can just go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I just post about everything on there, whether it's my streams or my videos or just other like, funny stuff stuff that's going on with me so just go ahead and follow me on twitter if you want to stay up to date with that and anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy this video this has been quad and i'll see you guys later